In this video, I'm going to discuss how to calculate the distance from Seattle to San Francisco, this distance that I'm outlining in purple on the screen, using just their degrees of latitude. Now this process will work for finding the distance between two locations that are about directly north and south of each other, as Seattle and San Francisco are. Another way to describe that would be to say, Seattle and San Francisco have about the same longitude. And again, this process that I'm about to describe will work for finding the distance between two locations that have the same longitude. There's a few pieces of information that I'll need before I can calculate this distance. First, the latitude of the two cities. The latitude of San Francisco is about 37.8 degrees north. And what that means, graphically, is that from the center of the Earth, the angle created between the equator and San Francisco is about 37.8 degrees. The latitude of Seattle is 47.6 degrees north. And what this means is that the angle between the equator and Seattle is 47.6 degrees. These cities, again, are directly north and south of each other. If, they, if this were not the case, I could not use this process to, to calculate the distance between the two cities. Again, another way to describe uh, locations that are directly north and south of each other would be to say their longitudes are the same. And the longitudes of Seattle and San Francisco are each 122.4 degrees west. I'll also need to know the radius of the Earth, and that's about 3,959 miles. The distance from the center of the Earth to the edge in this diagram is 3959. This is enough information to calculate the distance from Seattle to San Francisco. Let's do that now. The distance between the two cities is again what I'm outlining in purple. And the important part of the diagram that I have on the screen now is just the sector of the circle, is just the sector of the circle where the arc length, where the arc length joins Seattle and San Francisco. This shape could be described as a sector of a circle. And in a sector of a circle, the curved distance is known as the arc length. There's two radii in a sector of a circle. And in this case, each radius is 3,959 miles. And the final part of a sector of a circle that's important, that's relevant, is the central angle. And that's the angle that is created by the sector. And in this case, that would be the difference between 47.6 and 37.8. The difference, 47.6 minus 37.8, would be the central angle of this sector. Now that difference is 9.8 degrees. So in this sector, I have a central angle of 9.8 degrees. When it comes to sectors of circles, there's a formula to calculate the arc length if you know the central angle and the radius. And that formula looks like this, theta over 360, where theta is the central angle, times 2 times pi times r, the radius, the distance from the center to the edge of the sector. I know theta and I know r, so you can use this formula to calculate s. Let's substitute a 9.8 for theta and a 39.59 for r. And you can see that this arc length s, which in this case represents the distance from Seattle to San Francisco, is 9.8 divided by 360 times 2 times pi times r. That product is about 677 miles. This is an approximation. I've approximated the uh, latitude of San Francisco to be 37.8 and I've approximated the latitude of Seattle as 47.6. Additionally, the radius of the Earth has been approximated to 33,959 miles. And uh, also in this formula was a factor of pi, an irrational number. Taking all those things together, this result of 677 miles is approximated, but it's fairly close. The distance from Seattle to San Francisco is about 677 miles.